Is there a foolproof way to determine if your cats like you or not? The answer is yes. In fact, there are 11 subtle signs in the body language that cats display when they feel uncomfortable in someone's presence. Now, if you notice a single sign, it doesn't guarantee that your cats don't like you, but if you observe several of these signs, it's an indication that your relationship with them isn't going very well, and it might be good to try to change what's wrong between you and your feline friend. So, let's move on to the first sign. 1. Tail lowered horizontally. When your cats enter the room, take a moment to observe their tails. Is it lowered or even dragging on the ground? This posture is a significant indicator that your cats might not be feeling very comfortable with the situation or, unfortunately, with your company. But it doesn't stop there. If you notice their tail tucked under their body, it's a clear sign that they are not just uncomfortable but scared. On the other hand, a raised tail is like a big sign of joy for cats. It means they are more than just okay with your presence. They are delighted. Sign 2. Grooming in your absence. Cats are known for their meticulous grooming habits. This is not just about cleanliness. It's a strong indicator that they feel comfortable in your presence. So, if your cats start grooming themselves only when you're not around or abruptly stop grooming when you enter the room, this is not a good sign. Grooming is a vulnerable moment for cats, a time when they prefer not to feel watched or threatened. If they pause or stop grooming whenever you enter the room, it means they are on alert in your presence. Sign 3. Scratching or grooming frequently after interacting with you. Cats have scent glands in their cheeks and paws, and when they groom or scratch themselves after being with you, they might be trying to cover your scent with theirs. Interestingly, a study found that cats might groom more frequently in multi-animal households, potentially to get rid of other animals' scents. Another study observed that cats tend to groom more after stressful encounters. Grooming is a self-soothing behavior for cats, a way to calm themselves after moments of anxiety or discomfort. Therefore, if your cats immediately start grooming after you've hugged or petted them, it means that the encounter may have been uncomfortable or even stressful for them. This could happen if you have a habit of wearing perfumes on your wrists that interact with them. Sign 4. Lying on their backs with claws out. Seeing your cats sprawled on their backs with their bellies exposed to the world can easily be interpreted as a sign of total tranquility and an invitation for petting. It's a common misconception that this posture is always peaceful. In reality, this pose can also be a position of alertness. While it may seem that they are relaxing, Cats in this position are prepared for anything, with all claws ready and a quick path to their teeth if necessary. So, how can you tell if your cats are relaxed or on alert? Observe their overall body language. A cat at ease will have a relaxed posture, soft eyes, and a gentle demeanor, truly enjoying the moment of vulnerability. On the other hand, if their body is tense, their eyes are keenly observing, pupils dilated, and claws appear ready for action, they are not just resting, but on high alert with you nearby. Sign 5. Hiding. It's completely natural for a cat to seek refuge in a hidden corner when introduced to a new environment. This behavior allows them to slowly adapt to their surroundings on their own terms. However, if you notice that your cats continue hiding even in a familiar environment where they previously seemed comfortable, it's worth paying more attention. This might happen because they feel anxious in your presence but it could also be due to various health issues, as cats try to hide any pain or weakness. Studies focused on shelter environments for cats found a solution to this. They provided the shelter cats with elevated shelves and designated hiding spots specifically for each cat, which significantly reduced their stress levels. Therefore, make sure your cats have access to elevated cat shelves and cozy hiding spots to help them feel more at home. Sign 6. Biting. First, let's start with the fact that not all bites are bad. There are what's called love bites. Cats learn about bite inhibition from their mothers, meaning gentle biting. This is a crucial lesson where kittens are taught to control the force of their bite. It's a way to ensure that playtime remains fun and doesn't turn into a trip to the vet. When your cats give you a gentle bite, they are interacting with you in the same way they would with their feline family, using this learned behavior to interact gently. 
However, the story is different when the bite is strong and happens without warning. This type of bite, without any form of restraint, shows that something is not right. Most likely, it means your cats are afraid of you or are angry with you for some reason. Sign 7. Repeated attempts to escape or flee. If your cats constantly try to escape or flee in your presence, this suggests they feel unsafe or stressed around you. Cats live in a world governed by both predator and prey instincts. When they feel cornered or threatened, the instinctive reaction is to flee. This instinctive drive can be so strong that even the safety of their familiar environment might not calm the desire to escape if they perceive a threat. Sign 8. Flattened Ears In the wild, cats flatten their ears to blend better into their surroundings, making them less visible to predators or even the prey they are hunting. When your cat's ears are flattened against their heads while in your presence, it's a warning sign. Attempting to pet your cats in an effort to calm them when their ears are flattened can actually have the opposite effect. From their perspective, your approaching hand doesn't represent comfort but an imminent threat, so be careful in these moments. Sign 9. Licking their lips or nose. Just as humans might bite their nails or fidget when nervous or anxious, cats use the act of licking their lips and nose as a way to self-soothe in moments of discomfort. If you notice this happening more frequently than usual, especially when you're around, it's a clear sign that they are feeling uncomfortable with you. If you're enjoying the video, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and like the video. This helps us a lot and ensures that when we post a new video, you'll be notified. Sign 10. Avoiding eye contact. Cats communicate a lot with their eyes, and if your furry friend constantly avoids looking you in the eyes, it's a sign that they may not be feeling very positive about your presence. This behavior is rooted in their survival instincts, where keeping a low profile and avoiding confrontation is key to safety. Unlike humans, who use eye contact to build connection and trust, cats interpret this behavior differently. If they are constantly avoiding your gaze, it suggests discomfort or anxiety in your presence. Sign 11. Staring. This behavior is deeply rooted in their instincts, where direct eye contact is often considered a threat. But just like avoiding eye contact, context is key. Observe the rest of your cat's body language. Is the body tense or are the ears flattened? Are they staring intently without blinking? Or are they giving those adorable slow blinks, also known as cat kisses? The combination of your cat's stare with their body language will give you the answer. Now, before you go, would you like to know about other feline behaviors that cats do every day? But that might seem strange to us humans. Things like licking, scratching, sleeping on top of you, and much more. Then click here on the screen and continue with me in the amazing world of cats.